So general principles in criminal liability. General principles in criminal liability. Criminal liability is what unlocks the logic structure of criminal law. Is what unlocks the logic structure of criminal law. Each element of crime that the prosecutor needs to prove beyond reasonable doubt is principle of criminal liability. So basically, what the what the prosecutor tries to does tries to do is to show that beyond any reasonable doubt, you are liable for the claim that was coming was committed. He is just trying to unlock the fact. He is trying to prove, he is trying to show that you are a, cri a criminal. And by so doing, they, even, they challenge your character, they challenge your behavior, they look at your persona, they challenge everything in relation to the crime you are being accused of. A crime is composed of elements. A crime is composed of elements. A crime is composed of elements. Oh, ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. These elements include mental state. They include the born mental state. They have to look. Are you mentally stable? Are you mentally okay? When you did the crime, or when you did whatever you did, you did. They are supposed to check mm, prohibited action lack of legal jurisdiction. Okay, when you committed that action, were you within your rights? Were you within your rights? For instance, a police officer who shoots some, some a criminal who has drawn a weapon towards him. It is not okay to shoot someone. That police officer could be accused of committing ma murder. But the question is, was the police officer within his jurisdiction? Was he within his rights? Each of these elements must be proven beyond reasonable doubt. If any element is not proven, then the person must the person charged must be found not guilty. So again. You could be defending yourself and then you end up killing some, someone. So it means you are within your jurisdiction to defend yourself. yourself. So that whatever you did can be termed as self-defense. Defense. So the question is, can the prosecutor prove or present to the court that you did this action knowingly with a stable state of mind and well knowing that this is a crime you're committing beyond any reasonable doubt. If we can do that, then you are guilty. You are guilty. If we cannot do that, then you are not guilty. You are not guilty. To Yes, please. Come the fact that you are drunk and then you killed someone, it shows number one, act of negligence. You drunk. If let's say you maybe you are driving, you are not supposed to be driving drunk. Drunk. So by killing someone, it means you are guilty. Guilty. So you can, you can't escape it. The fact that you are drunk, it shows you first of all you you you, you, you it's like you, you did this yourself. You did it to yourself. You took the car when you were drunk, knowing that very well it is wrong to drive a car when you are drunk. Drunk. And then in the process or in the course of it you killed some someone. So you are guilty. <coughs> Any other question please? The principle of actus reus criminal law. The principle of actus reus. Actus reus. Principles of actus reus. The principle of actus reus. Criminal act. There is no punishment for thinking about criminal act. A crime must be an actus reus. Latin name for a bad act. Actor is real means bad act. This is Latin. 
So this principle states, the principles of the principles act as rules. You cannot be prosecuted for thinking of killing someone. That's all? You can't be prosecuted. You cannot be charged for thinking about killing someone or raping someone or, com or conducting a mug mugging. No. You can only be accused for the bad action you have done. So there must be an, an action. A defendant has committed the actor's reuse of an offense if he has done some act that is an actionable action prohibited by law. Okay, you can do a lot of bad stuff. Sasawa? That doesn't mean it's a crime. It's a crime. Sasawa? But if it is prohibited by the law, okay, you can spit on someone. Is it prohibited by the law? Which law? Show me, which law is prohibits that? Spitting on someone? Look at you drinking water here. Is there a law prohibiting that one? If there were, that would be a crime. A crime. But this is there's none, you can take your water as you please. As you please. Yes? Please ask. Actor, even trying to like plan about doing something, but you have already started. It's an action, even planning. But you have not done it. But you have strategized the matter. Okay, uh, there's something we call attempted murder, where you attempt to kill someone. You have not even gotten to the person, but you are caught maybe on the way going to kill some, someone. So, so, that one is actionable. But the one that is still in your mind, only you can tell, and you can lie to us. We don't have a mind reader that can tell us whether you are planning to commit a crime or not. Or not. Unless maybe you confess to someone, hey, I'm planning to kill so and so, and so. And still, even if you, you, you are planning to kill so and so, there must be some things that will prove it is a real and actual plan you are attempting to kill some, someone. Because it can be just hearsay. That's all. Hearsay is just something you heard somewhere. Okay? There is no grounds to prove it is me who said so. Maybe you are the only one who said you are going to kill me. To kill that someone. And you are saying now it is me who said I am going to kill you. So, there must be some grounds. There must be some proof. And we cannot prove something that is in your mind. In your mind. Something that you are already planning, we cannot put in your, in your mind. Is that okay? Please, any other question? Moriare Swali Nikona Swali What is Actarius? Yes? I can't hear you Okay, okay, I am You have another question? Okay, sir Most crimes consist of defeat defined set of actions that together are prohibited e.g. it may be a crime to walk out of the store with an item that you have not paid for. The act of walking out will with the item without paying for the item is the act of so Remember that is a bad thing, Sindio. But that bad thing is prohibited by the law. A law that was passed by a certain public, a certain community, a certain state. So what have you done? You have broken something that the community or the people or the public agreed should not be broken. So you have gone against the people. The people. That is why we say it's a, an offense against the public, the general public. So basically, a crime is an uh, an actus reus, a bad, a bad, a bad act against the public. But it must be prescribed as a bad act. Hello. Yeah. For it to be a crime, it must be done knowingly. And again, you must do it knowingly. For instance, you, you enter into a store, you pick up a gun, you, you, you put it in your pocket, or somebody takes a gun and puts it in your home. 
unknowingly you walk out of the supermarket and then when you walk out the bells start ringing you saw those these are bells that, those detectors that could take you to run like it when you have not paid they start ringing if you can prove that that item was placed in your pocket unknowingly you didn't know and you're willing to pay for it that's not a crime that's not a crime that could be a mistaken identity the real perpetrator the real crime is the one who put the item in your pocket in your pocket Maya, do you have any questions so far? Maya, the principle of men's rare. The principle of men's rare. Principle of men's rare. The guilty mind. The guilty mind. Okay, listen to this. An element of each and every crime is a state of mind. An element of each and every crime is a state of mind. Remember we said in a crime there are elements which are involved. Which is the prosecutor, which is the job of the prosecutor to try and prove those ele elements. So the prosecutor must prove that in your mind, in your mind, you intentionally wanted to commit this thing knowingly it is what you are commit, committing but if you do it not knowing what you are doing then you are not guilty you are not guilty Try on. because you didn't know what you are doing okay you can kill someone unaware so consciously in your mind you didn't know what you are doing but the fact remains you have committed a crime, a crime. so when things when the elements are loot you will be found not guilty not guilty but if they can prove that you intentionally you wanted to and this is where things like planning comes in weapons comes in that the prosecutor is trying to show you your character is challenged also your previous crime maybe are brought in the court to show your bad judgment to show to show what a bad person you are to show the kind of a man you are or the woman you are they are trying to prove the guilty mind Maybe they, they, they even try to bring, uh, if, if they are talking about in cases of murder, they can even try to bring past crimes or past the rest that you, have, you had given to the person. To the person. Sir. Yes, please ask. For example, and I had a Yes. Not exactly. Uh, if an underage, if a juvenile, that is, which means an underage commits a murder, it is still considered that that child is not fully developed, developed because he is 18 years and be, be do. Because at that age, it is the responsibility of the parents or the guardians, all the society, to show this kid what's right and wrong, and wrong. So he will be arrested. He'll be charged with crime, with the murder, and he will be sentenced to prison. But in juvenile. In juvenile when he reaches the age of 18 years he will be released because he committed that as an act as a child as a child so his child life should not affect his adult life his records will be sealed his records will be sealed and he will walk out a free man now when he commits another crime he can be arrested and jailed as an adult in an adult Remember, this person is below the age of 18. So, in the eyes of the law, this person is not mature enough to make decisions on his own. So, this person relies on his guardians, his people. And that's why you hear somebody, if, if a child refuses to go to school, high school, and he is below the age of 18 years, the parents must answer for it, not the child. The child is the one who refused, but it is the parents who are answering for it. For it. Why do they have to do that? Because it is considered that this child cannot make sound decisions. He is not mature enough to decide on his own. That's why he cannot even enter into contract. You cannot marry such. Even if he is a man, he cannot marry. He can also, he can also not enter into contract. If you enter into a contract with that, with that child and you give him or her your money and he eats your money, you cannot claim it. But if he gives you money and you eat it, the court will ask you for the money back. Why? Because it is considered you as an adult, you are taking advantage of the child. 
of the child. But the child cannot take advantage of you because you are mature. Sasa, a child below 18 years old, that's a child. How much is it? Below 18 years old, you see you are. You are a child. Aya, mens rea is the defendant is the defendant state of mind where where he engages in prohibiting prohibiting conduct. So it is believed that or it is said that before you commit each and every crime, you first of all committed it to where? In your mind. Before somebody decided to kill you, he first of all made a decision where? In his mind. To kill you. He could kill you accidentally. Meaning he never made any decision to kill you. If he can prove that he did it accidentally and he never made it, it was not his intention to do it, then he is not guilty. But if it is proved that he planned it for it, so he had made a decision to kill you, then he is guilty. He is guilty. The principle states that the guilt can be at the guilt can be attributed to individual who acts. The principle states that the guilt can be attributed to individual who acts. The guilt can be attributed to the individual who acts. Who acts. But again, you can think, you can plan, and even make a decision you're going to kill someone, yes? But have you committed the action? No. You have not killed anyone, Sindeo. So when you do the action, you made a decision, yes? But you have not done the action. When you do the action, when you follow that decision that you made now, and you commit the action, now you are guilty. Your guilt, but you can make a decision and still not do, still not do it, and you're not guilty. You're not guilty because we cannot prosecute you for what is in your mind. In your mind, we have to prosecute you for what is visible. Purposely, purposely. 